The way I be thinking is some different, some different, nigga. The way they be hating is some different, some different. Don't compare with them lames, I'm some different. I'm some different, some different, I'm some different, I'm some different, I'm some different. Now I don't roll with these niggas, roll, I smoke some different. See that little mommy that's right beside me, she's some different, she's some different. Might whip the front shit, then tomorrow I'm in some different. Cause I'm some different, they know I'm some different. Hey. What's up, y'all? Hop on the gym. The fellas. Working. Kettlebell carries. Rolls in this bitch working, man. What's up, Shit, family? you know what I'm saying? Working, y'all. Let's go, gang. Okay? Money. So, they doing the pull ups, 10 pull ups, 10 dips. 10 leg raises, 10 push-ups, kettlebell carries, all the way down that bitch. I mean, I'm just doing my burpees with the kettlebells and shit. I'm gonna show y'all some of that when I'm motivated, man. Career deployment, two fire, movie, thankful, blessed, feeling fucking amazing. Build closer bonds with my brothers and shit. Unbreakable bonds with my brothers and shit. Man, I feel amazing through it all. No matter what's going on, I'm just just bringing that pain with me to the gym, man. Like that's that's, that's what we gotta do as fellas, bro. Just bring that pain, that being misunderstood, the shit that you know you gonna have to live with for the rest of your fucking life. That you can't change, knowing that you really out here by yourself, no matter how close you are with anybody, because the relationship with yourself will determine the length of any relationship that you have with anybody else, man. Understand, bro? So I'm gonna show y'all this burpee set real quick. This is we bumping. You see it? Yeah. Yep, I just zoomed in. They see, they see, they see. I Body pump, feeling good, just trying to set that standard too for the young bros, for the bros in general, motivate the people around me, see the motivate myself. <coughs> you know, work, keep working, I ain't gonna lie, this shit feel good. I just had a, who's the, what was it, the infantry, what's that EIB shit called? What's the pronunciation? EIB PT test? Yeah, broke the record on that. So I'm just trying to continue to just push myself. I'm low key becoming a unicorn in this army shit, so I'm just keep on trying to do the best that I can to push the people around me and continue to keep up that standard. So I'm never the type of guy that's gonna try to be like, yo, I done did this, but like, I'm not there no more. I had that, like, nah. Longevity, my nigga. We gonna keep that standard forever. I'm gonna keep this work ethic forever, nonstop, no matter what. Bro. 
Wait. Listen, man, we know we all tracking that aura is very important, right? Which is why the guilt gonna come in when you fucking up, deviating, releasing your life force, especially to the to the P. So it's understand, just continue to intake how important that shit is. Continue to soak up that feeling of accountability every time you do. And eventually that shit is gonna be unlimited fuel for you, man. To be a certain type of version of yourself that wouldn't be possible if you didn't fuck up as much as you did. You know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta think about it, bro. It take, people think giving up is easy. Giving up on your, your whole life and your whole everything. That shit seem easy, I don't know. But like in reality, it take a lot of being beat the fuck down by the shit that you fucking up in, the shit that you doing, that's, you know what I'm saying? Plus the consequences and the the karmic shit that's gonna come with that. So in reality is that accumulation is what's gonna weigh down on a person to eventually bring them to that point. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it, right? Like most people, that got it in them to not be motivated, to want to be their best version. They're already in that process and they could put themselves out of that process whenever they feel. But people waiting for something to come over them and body snatch them the way the liquor do, the way the weed do, the way the low vibrational shit do. And when the good shit don't do that, a lot of times people you know what I'm saying? It's a lot harder to pull themselves out of that rut. So, in reality, you just gotta be thankful if you conscious of understanding it from that perspective and just be accountable and be responsible. Cause at the end of the day, we either gonna give up and be a fucking statistic and be forgotten about shit. The rough truth is that a lot of people just really can't accept the fact that life is gonna forever continue to go on no matter what fucking decision you make. Whether you your best version, there's gonna be motherfucker that's gonna be why she be your best version, misunderstanding you, or why you got the drive to be your best version, why they continue to deviate, being on bullshit, and just continuing to just be on that path, uh, just falling and going down on the wrong path while they watching you level up. At the end of the day, life is going to forever to go on. A lot of times, people want to get caught up in this process of like when they elevating on their healing process, on their growing shit, they want to try to pick people up as much as they can. And you can do the best that you can in that aspect. But in reality, you got to understand that it's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is you and continue to just build on yourself and set that example. And then eventually people might come around, see the work ethic, want to work with you. Maybe, maybe not. You know what I'm saying? But you got to learn that the, the better that you want to become, the more lonely it might get. The change might be a little bit scary. It's gonna come with a lot of aura. It's gonna come with a change in the relationship because of the elevation and you doing shit that, right? That you're supposed to be doing that most people is not trying to do. The things that matter the most is the things that people not necessarily seeing you do in front of their eyes, right? So, it's a man, stay motivated. Or be a regular motherfucker. That shit on you, man. Oh God, can't be me. Uh, no matter what, we gonna fucking work, man. Really gotta think about it, right? Life is really simple. We just make it difficult, right? Either you have a negative thought guidance, 
positive thought patterns. It's meaning if you have a negative thought patterns, you can submit to them. Boo hoo wan wan. Me, your feelings about it. Oh, I'm misunderstood. Why me? <laughs> All that bullshit, right? Or you can force growth, like I'm heavy on, like I talk about, right? And I'm right here on the ground with y'all. So, just focus on the things that you feel like you deserve, that you want even, things that you're trying to unlock, achieve, get the cheat code for, and just focus on and be relaxed in them thoughts, right? Groove in them thoughts, flow in them, sis. Make them a part of your bubble. Get comfortable in your bubble. Find your flow. Or forever, right? If you're gonna stand for something or fall for anything, so stand for, stand for your flow, man. You know what I'm saying? I want the best for y'all, bro. I want you to get your dream baddie female. I want you to have all the, all the bread. I want you to be in your best physique possible. I want all that for y'all. I want you to just have that street smarts. If you ain't grow up how I grew up, you know what I'm saying? In the mud, abandoned, all that, all that fuckery. And at the end of the day, it's my job and everybody's job that maybe has been through worse than the average man to use that fuel. And you could be superior to the average man because you got more fuel, more responsibility, because you could at any point crash out and flip and be like, yo, no, this shit could, uh, uh, uh. My mom ain't going to never love me. Why she treat me like that? Why I got, why I was, uh, uh, whatever it is and completely crash the fuck out and had everybody around you scared to live, traumatized. You know what I'm saying? Life is a man's responsibility and the more you go through, it's more responsibility, so. Lock in, what the fuck you gonna do about it? Put that work in. Work in. Look at the pump. Get the pump out the young bros, bros in general. Bros my age, young bros is working out with me. Is trying my best to set that standard PT wise. And, but it's it's inspiring for me as well. Coming this shit, and I just let's be on demon time. Just thinking about how, think about my hood, how forever. Everybody banging in my hood, just gonna forever just be in a cycle of crashing out and never able to evolve and be successful and make some of themselves and climb the stepping stools that I'm able to use within the army and building myself up, being married, right? All that, man, it's just motivated. It's gold, son. Motivated, motivated. Life, life can be ugly, man, but you got to use that, that fuel and just, right? Life is literally all about dopamine. It's really that simple. So come on, get in this motherfucker, get that dopamine, right? Because you're going to get it one way or another. This will keep us going. This will get us through the night sometimes. We're about to crash out and you, and you get on the pee and they get you through the night from not crashing out and doing yourself in whatever way you finna risk, risk and all that, right? So, get that don't mean the right way. Accept that this shit is going to be hard. This shit is fucked up. It's forever going to be fucked up. No matter how great you even become, you may not be able to change it completely, but you can have a little bit of an effect. Whether you do, whether you don't, be your best you. Get the, get the most out of this shit. Come on, man. Let's get it. Locked in. Come on.
Ah! Uh, you gotta think, right? If you've been through a little bit more than the average man, what that mean? Your pain tolerance is different. Meaning that you can push yourself to more pain, do shit like that, and be a better version of yourself that you might have would have not been. You know, if you ain't had a pain tolerance that you had because of the shit you've been through. Whew. Oh yeah, put that fucking work. Burpees minimum, especially seen. It's just one set. And the five push up, and back up. One set, bro. Come on, man. Got me feeling. Got me feeling. Holy shit. Come on, man. Full body. Legs are everything getting cooked. Alright, so. We about to hit the close grip, pull up. That's an extreme pull up right there. Love no thotties. <laughs> I was there. Oh. I was trying to max out. I done hit 30 a few times. I just did 100 burpees though. Or the burpees that this how I've seen. So we're going to see what I can do. You got to go villa off with that calisthenics shit. Oh. Work and stay motivated. Come on, y'all. I'm about to be out with this. Yo, look. I'm trying to get on here. Chop it up with y'all. Soak that pain. Soak them gems like I know for doing as much as I can. Look, y'all. Keep working. Pushing yourself to be your best self. At the end of the day, you're a goal because you're holding yourself accountable for your mistakes to the point where you got to pick yourself up because of how disappointed you are yourself but you got to remember just because you disappointed yourself it shouldn't you shouldn't be to the point where you pointing the finger at yourself to the point where it's stopping you from putting that pain in you know what i'm saying you got to be your own personal trainer your own motivator you know what i'm saying to the point where you you taking that pain with you and self-developing at the end of the day because you know that you ain't as bad down bad as you used to be because at least you become more and more conscious in the clarity of this deviation and the things that you got to grow and flow through, man. And at the end of the day, you got to think about it. 
Even on your worst day, you gotta bring your ass to the gym, put this fucking pain in, because you, you literally need dopamine. Why you think motherfuckers doing the doom scrolling that they doing, not realizing they're watching a bunch of foolery, or even watching other motherfuckers live their best life, be entertain entertainment and all that. Goofy, you know what I'm saying? But like goofery. Come on, bro. Push yourself to become your best version, even on your worst day. And imagine how great you're going to be in your best days, man. Imagine how much you're going to appreciate that. Imagine how much. Because at the end of the day, the days don't define you. It's about the pain that you're putting in every day. Even if you couple weeks, a month, you deviate, fall off, get the fuck up like a hangover. Get to the gym, get some water in your system, do what the fuck you gotta do, cause you know what the fuck you gotta do. Get out your feelings, put that pain in, get right, get angry, you know what I'm saying? And have fun in this shit, man. Have fun, growing and flowing, man. Becoming your best version. All this shit, the competition, all this shit. You gotta play for keeps. At the end of the day, it's always gonna be somebody out here, a group of people out here that want what you want. I mean, want what you have or want what you want. You ain't the only one that want what you want, bro. Either you going you gotta work to get it, and you gotta play for keeps. So go ahead, sleep if you want to. No motherfucker gonna be like, thank you, thank you. You gotta play with it if you want to. Go get yours, all right? Put that, put that work in, put that pain in. Come on. We all good.